What's up, YouTube? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, I seen this post that Alex, Alandra, uh, Alex Alonzo from Street TV posted on his YouTube community post, right? It was pretending to the interview with G-Face, No Jumper, with the whole dude calling in from the prison, trying to expose Snoopy Badass for, uh, to be a snitch or whatever, right? But Alex Alonzo... He posted that the individual that Snoopy Badass, um, that they're um, alleging that's supposed to be the dude that Snoopy Badass told on is not even a Southsider or a Mexican. He's supposed to be a black guy. So now we got this whole weird space about the whole ordeal because... <clears throat> And, you know, I necessarily don't know the truth myself. I don't know the facts. So I'm not making no choice based upon who's right and who's wrong. But I will kind of like I can't assume that Alex Alonzo did his due diligence for him to willing to, you know, speak against G-Face and Adam 22 and the whole platform. You know what I mean? So. Y'all could probably do y'all research yourself and see what really took place. Some y'all though, but I wouldn't uh, speak on it with so much of a fact unless I knew the facts. That's some advice I'm gonna give y'all myself, right? But it's just a weird situation to where they create this narrative if that's just not the truth, where they would have somebody call in or they call in and they play this whole narrative. And it just makes it look even more worse because you got a Hispanic sitting here with a whole table full of blacks. Then it looks even worse. It's just, you know, now the situation is viewed as all these blacks participated of letting this uh, Hispanic pretty much put out this false narrative. And I'm not even trying to make it a whole black and Mexican situation. I'm just speaking on certain parts of the politics from certain people uh, point of view and anybody that know the streets and the politics then you would definitely understand that that looks very strange right now that you know a table full of blacks or crips gangbangers whatever will sit at the table while uh, uh, a dude from a whole nother car and a whole nother race come up with a whole uh, false narrative to bash out this other black guy. You know what I mean? Because even if a, 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 a riot break out behind them walls, then at the end of the day, you know, Crips and Bloods, that become the black movement. And it will be like that. And it's always like that. So that's strange. But <clears throat> it makes me look at the dude G-Face another way as well. Because I'm looking at it like, dang, what's up with all the antics and What's so important about, you know, if it ain't true, is it that, like, what's so important to try to see Snoopy Badass in the form of a rat? I don't know if the beef is that deep. I don't know if the author kid, like, whatever they're dealing with. I don't know if it's just making good content. But like I said before, people got to stop putting that snitch snuff and just any allegations on the tip of their tongue and just put it out there. You know, we can't just be doing that because it's a deadly game that people be playing. You know, that shit is life changing for people around people, for people that care for people and individuals they self. You know, it's just a weird place, man. So I ain't sure about what's really right or wrong, but I put the clip in here so y'all can see what Alex Alonso posted and how he felt about it. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in them comments too and keep it a binge for me. If not, don't jump in them. And it's just a weird situation. It ain't too much I can even, like, really speak on it. All I can do is just, like, pretty much pinpoint certain things that it's, like, just not seeming correct. Like, you know, this is a weird situation that we're dealing with. But this is what we're going to have when you got people trying to mix so much street shit with the podcasting shit. You know, it's like Brick Baby, he really running that show. I can't even really hold everybody else that's just a guest accountable 
But as Brick Baby to be this black guy in this crib and this dude coming from the streets, he shouldn't even entertain that type of game. You know? Because tomorrow somebody will play that game with Brick Baby. And how it's going to sit, I don't know. But I hate that situation where you got these streets, these people playing that, walking that thin line, playing the middle with the streets in that whole job journalist podcast game. You know, if you're going to be on that street shit and get in front of this camera and just pop your stuff, then pop your stuff. If you're going to be on some 100% legit civilian type or whatever, then stick to that. You know? But when you play this middle and try to act like this is content and all this street shit really just ain't for content, especially on a higher up scale, that's like... um. People with millions of subscribers. People got a supreme fan base. It's like, your content can be based upon so much different things. You know, now it's like, is it a street podcast or what? But I just don't agree with that, man. It is what it is, though. That's my opinion. I ain't saying nobody got to agree with it. I'm not saying you got to like my opinion. However, you know, everybody got their own way. But like I said already, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. And I'm out. <clears throat>